our Pasita Abad inspired collage, first you'll need to gather some supplies. You'll need a 9 by 12 piece of paper. This paper could be white or it could be a piece of construction paper. You'll need an assortment of colored papers. These could be scrapbook papers, construction paper, or uh, wrapping paper, or even some cutout junk mail like I have here. So collect your supplies. Um, you'll need a pair of scissors to cut out some circles. So you can um, choose to cut your papers freehand by cutting, um, by folding your paper in half and cutting out a semicircle to get your circle. Or you can use some tracers. I'll show you how to do both of those. So you can freehand it. It looks pretty good, not too bad. These circles do not have to be perfect. If you prefer to trace um, uh, your circles, what I always do is I keep some lids and things that I could use to trace for to get a circle. So you can do that if you wish. Again, these circles do not have to be perfect. So we're going to take each circle and we're going to use the circle, but we're also going to cut another circle out of it. So once you have your circle, whether you folded your paper and cut a semicircle or traced something round, you're going to fold it in half again and you can create a smaller circle out of this one and have two different ones, two different sizes to use for our collage. So now we have some different, different sorts of things. You can even do another one if you want to. I would say two or three sort of rainbow cuts out of that circle will give you a variety of circles to use for your collage. So keep cutting your circles and then making smaller circles. And after we do that, we will arrange them for our collage. I'm going to show you a trick how you can cut out several circles at once. Take a couple of pieces of paper, use your circle tracer on the white side, trace all the way around just like you're going around a racetrack. Hold those papers together nice and tight. This way you can cut out several circles at once. I would say about three at a time. And that's a real time saver. The next step in our collage is to take the largest circles or O's and start arranging them on your paper so they are not touching. You want to uh, arrange them in, a, in an attractive arrangement so you can play around with the colors, um, lay them out so they're covering the whole page. It is okay if they go off the edge. In fact, it'll, pro it'll look a lot better um, if they do go off the edge. Anything that hangs off the side, we are going to cut. Um, so don't worry too much about that. So play with your color and play with your arrangement. After you have your large circles laid out the way you want them, you can start getting your smaller circles and start placing them. gluing down all of your circles 
all of your O's, I mean, after you're finished gluing down all of your O's and putting the circle, the smallest one in the center, you are ready to trim off the excess. So I'm going to turn mine over and I'm just going to cut along the edge. good. I'm happy with the way mine turned out. Looks like one of my circles fell off of right there. I might need to glue that back on. But um, right now what we can do is we can just add some embellishments to it. If you don't like the way this area looks back here in between the circles, like if you used a white paper rather than the blue, you can take some crayon or marker or really any color uh, any of the colors to add in some interest there. You could take some crayons or marker markers and put some, outline some of these circles. If you have some plain circles and you want to do some design on those with marker, you can do that. So you can finish this off however you want. You decide and I can't wait to see how yours turns out.